This screencast looks at using the InVision app. Um, you can sign up for free at InVisionApp.com. It has a number of different packages. It has a free one which has some limited functionality but is really useful. Um, and also it has a number of subscription based um, packages. Mostly it's aimed at professional use. Now it might be the case that you are in um, education and your education establishment is subscribing to the Envision app and in that case you may get a code and you can sign up with your university um, email and this will give you a little bit more of an expanded package um, that you can use for free. Now it's that one we're going to be looking at, um, the education um, free package. So what you would need to do either way, if you have that, you go and sign up. It will give you, um, you sign up through the education page on the Envision app, which you'll get instructions for if that's the case for your institution. Or if you just want to sign up basically uh, and use the app. So you would sign up for the free package. Now we've already signed up here and here we have the sort of the home page or the dashboard now that has um, some links up the top where it has your prototypes here these are two that have come with it so it's already on here you'll have something called boards where you can put um, your different projects you're working on again here this is an example of how that could look um, then you have some activity if you've had some activity or connections or collaborations if you go to people this again you can create a team and work on a project or a prototype together edit it sh share your ideas and work also it's got a button down here and this one will give you um, some training and how to use it which these are quite useful short videos on here I'll just go back um, now if I go back to my prototypes, um, up here it's got recent, so again whatever you've used recently will pop up here. Types are the type of prototypes you're creating, if you're doing a desktop or an iPad or an Android device. And also if you do have created teams and you've got people who you're collaborating with, they will appear down the side here. Um, you've got some buttons up at the top here which these are tools and extensions you have whiteboard which is again working in collaboration um, you can actually draw and sketch ideas on top of your prototypes to communicate with other people who may be working in another place um, you can take snapshots of your um, design work also you can do uh, what's called live capture um, that works through the browser just with Chrome. You can do live share, that's the case that it can, sometimes this can connect with Photoshop. So you can download a plugin for Photoshop, it's only available for Mac. And then also you can have a desktop sync so it can sync um, your files and bring them up. Okay, so what's happened here is I have seen on Sketch TV, um, Sketch 3, um, app for creating UI interfaces it has um, somebody is doing sketch TV which has lots of tutorials on here now one of the tutorials is using these files which um, are available here um, on dribble now what I've done is these have been given up sort of free to use in your mock-ups and that's what's been used on one of the sketch TV um, tutorials Tutorial doesn't talk you through it, it just has a bit of music in the background. So I'm going to sort of use the same assets, do the same sort of stuff, but talk you through it. But this is where I got the idea from, from Sketch TV. And this is where I got the assets from. Now I've downloaded these assets. I'll just go back to Envision. I've got them here on my desktop and there are um, six screens. So you create screens, either you can create them in Sketch 3, if you've got that on your Apple Mac, and you can directly upload them to Envision if you do have that plugin. Also, you can do it through Live Share, through Photoshop. Again, that's only Mac based if you have that um, plugin and you're a subscriber to Creative Cloud and have Photoshop CC. Now, here's all these images here. Now, what I will be doing is uploading them 
once we've created a new project. So I click up here where it's got the button, click this red button, and I'm going to say my app for want of a better word. And then what I want to do is put it on an iPhone. Now you can have it portrait or landscape. I'm just going to go for portrait. And once I've done that, I click create project. Now it gives me a number of options. Now what you can do is you can bring them from any number of places. You can bring them from, you can have the sync, which will bring it in. Um, if you have that plugin, you have in Dropbox, you can have it in uh, Drive or you can have it in Box. And also, if you do have it attached to Creative Cloud, you can bring it in from Creative Cloud as well. So it can connect to lots of different types of files it'll recognize. Here's them all listed here. And also, um, you can have it on cloud storage. Now, I've just got these remotely on my desktop, so I'll click Browse. Now, here's my images, and all I will do is just shift-click these. I'll click Open, and they should take me up to um, my page where I've got all my screens. Now you can rearrange them so you can move them around. So if I can come up here, move this here, and maybe I want to move that to there, and I'll sort of move these pictures around here. Okay, now we've put all our screens in the right order. We'll just look at the interface here. So what we got is up at the top, we're in um, sort of screens. So it's got all our screens that are here. You can put things on hold and in progress so you can have different statuses on there. That's mainly if you're working collaboratively with other people, you've got a workflow. So this is what's in progress. You can have a look at um, what happens here. And also you can actually having um, ones that are being reviewed again, that can be used collaboratively. Um, you've got activities, so this records all the activities you've done, so you can go back um, to see the progress you've made. Um, comments are where other people can leave comments who are your collaborators. Um, you've got one here that's got assets, so these are assets for your um, projects. Uh, I haven't got any assets here at the moment. Uh, you got another button at the end, which is about um, ownership. There's lots of other things to do with activity and duplicate. You can also incorporate it to, um, if you have Slack, um, how you're working on your project. You can export your screens as PDFs. Um, so there's lots of opportunities there to for your project. Um, up at the top, it's got the prototype. So these are all you know, the prototypes you're working on. This is the one I've uploaded and these are the ones that come in here again you have boards these are just example boards of how you can lay out what work you're currently working on and all your projects um, so people can see those your collaborators um, again it's got some things to do with activity here's some work I've done so it's showing me um, what I've recently done when I've done it and what time then it's got people. Now if I invite people and create teams, they can work collaboratively of here. And then again, we've got um, some good tutorials on here so you can um, learn how to use and share um, your prototypes. Now, further over, we have, um, it's got notifications so they can be on. You've got some things to do with uh, favoriting. Um, then you've got this button here, which has extensions and tools. You can have a whiteboard, and this is a collaborative work. People can sketch on the UIs that you're creating and give feedback, etc. You can do some um, snapshots, so you can share those through the live view and drop um, images in here of your snapshots. You can also have live capture. Again, live capture is if you're working collaboratively, you can use that. Um, and then coming back here, you also have live share. It, that only works with Photoshop. So if you have Photoshop on a Mac and you, you're subscribing to Photoshop CC, also you can have a desktop sync plugin. Um, mainly these are to do with um, connecting to drives that you have and that will connect to your local storage and also then that will connect with your 
um, remote cloud storage. There's lots of options here you can use um, to sync. They're working on Creative Cloud at the moment, and once you have Creative Cloud, you can put your assets in your cloud storage in Adobe Creative Cloud. Now, I'll just go back to my prototypes, and I'll click here, View Prototype. Um, they're all here. I can now, I could make them this smaller, so it previews it here. I can literally have it in a list form, which can give me other information how I'm working on my prototype. I can rearrange it here if I wish. I can put a loading screen on, that's like a splash screen. It has user testing here. Um, this appears to only work with iPhone 6 Plus, it's in uh, beta, and that you can take control of someone else's phone if they're doing testing and record that. Um, you've got live share up at the top, and also you've got this share button, and this is when you finish making your prototype. You can export it, you can store it online, you can give the URL to somebody else, you can send a text message to where it is or you can download it and this is also how you would get it sent a link sent to a device so you can view your um, app on an actual device now I'll just go back up here and what I'll do all these screens are here so first up I'll just um, click here and what I've got is a preview. So you see down here you're in preview mode or interact mode. And there's got some buttons here that you can go through and see what everything looks like with a foam bezel around it. Now if I go down to the bottom with configuration, I can change that. So I can come up here and maybe make this white or you can change it to different types of phones if you uh, wish um, to just give you a feeling for that. So it's got, you know, light background dark background that's up at the top so there's some functionality that you can change here um, when you're doing that and we'll click save it has social share it had upload screens also it has um, the status that you're currently working on again it has these live share buttons uh, moving on this is the edit mode so I can come here and put hotspots on it and make it interactive you can leave comments this is if you're working collaboratively you can leave comments. Um, also, this is sort of history. Again, if you're working on something collaboratively, it'll show what's been done on each of like the iterations or versions. Now, if I go back here, and this is the preview mode, I go all the way to my first screen. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to create a hotspot. So what I need to do is now click on the build button down at the bottom. And here it is. Now I've just got a hotspot on there from last time, so I'll just delete that. Now I want to put a hotspot over people, and this is going to be made into a link. So destination, I click down here, and you'll see them all listed at the bottom. So I'm going to link it to people, and that's why it's important to name um, you know, your, your screens before you upload them properly. Now I can do a gesture, tap, double tap, swipe right swipe left so you've got all those i will just do this and tap now it's got instant and then it's got some other um transitions so i'm going to have um slide left and then i'm going to click save now before i click save if i had i want to duplicate this say i've got a navigation bar that has people on lots of other um, screens I can save it as a template and apply it throughout my whole project but I just want it on this one so I won't bother with that I click Save now once I've done that I will now go back to the preview um, it shows you there so hopefully if I click on people you'll see that happen now I haven't created a, a button to go back so if I go down to the build mode on that screen now I need to go um, back to where I was before so in that case I will just go up and I will put it um, up here I'll put it on all again I'll come down here that one's called timeline and I go here and this time we'll have a try at um, uh, slide up once we got slide up on a tap I click OK to that and I go to the preview now if I click on the all here, it'll slide up and then I click on people and it will do that. 
So I've linked those two together. Now I want to have some other information on here. So what I might do is I will go back to my uh, timeline screen in the preview. Now, what I will do is I will get another hotspot. So I need to do the build and I can just drag out, say, another hotspot right across here. Now you can adjust it once you've got that on there and also you can make it a little bit bigger. Sometimes it can be a bit tricky, get hold of it. And once you've got that, it wants to know the destination. I am going to go for um, I think I'll just go for this one that has profile. I will now have this. Um, it'll get it to pop to see what that looks like. Now I'll go into the edit mode here. If I press that, it'll pop up on here. Now while I'm on there, I will click this and I will just drag out a hot spot over the top here. Again, I'll have the destination and this time I'll go to camera. Uh, it's going to be tap, instant, and what I will have, I'll have this one that is slide down, and I click OK to that. So I'll test that out by going to the preview. If I click on here, we've got that. Now I'll put another hotspot on this button to go to edit. So I'll click here. I drag out my hotspot. I go down, and I'll go to the edit screen. Um, again, I'll have that maybe um, pushing up from the bottom, but again, you need to work all this out how you want things to be. And then I click there, go back to the uh, preview. If I click on here, it will bring this up on there. And what I can do is I'll just put one more hotspot up at the top to over here. And then I'll have that linking back to my timeline. That instant I'll have maybe a dissolve on this one see how that goes and then once that's done I'll go to the preview I'll click here I can go to say people um, once I've gone to people I when you click here what you will see is if you don't have a hotspot it, it tells you where it is it prompts you because it's a prototype and may not have functionality on everything so I click here and it'll bring that up now, if I go to click here, it'll take me to this. And then if I click here, and then click there, and then if I go back up there. Now, it just gives you an idea of the functionality, probably how it's been linked together. Maybe that may not make any sense on a user experience level, but it gives you an idea of how that prototype works. Now, I can sort of come back out of here, to back into my project and click here, and that'll show me my whole project. Um, and then again, you know, you can go back into it by clicking on here to edit it and you can go into the edit. Now, these are the hotspots here, so you can click on any of them and that gives you a chance to move them around, scale them. Also, you can delete them if you wish. If you have lots of ones that you want to repeat, you can include them in a template. And if I did include that in the template, say here, and then I need to create a new template. So I just say, I'll just call this temp but you might want to associate parts of your design. And then I just click save to that and I click save. Now, if I went on another screen, for example, um, say, for example, if I go back here, I'll take it to one that probably hasn't got something on there. Now, if I click here, now I've got a hotspot down the bottom. Now up at the top, this is where the it's stored. So this is my template one I've just created. It says add to multiple screens um, or copy template or delete it. If I click here, pop-up will appear and ask me which ones it wants to be put on. So what I can do here is I can come along and I can click say on my first one here. And it's added it. Um, I can close this down. And when I go through in the preview mode, I'll go back to my first screen here and I put that on. You'll see this hotspot is now green. This means it's actually um, a template. So it's part of the template. So 
that will put it on multiple screens. So again, if I wanted to go somewhere else, I go back here, um, through here, good case, I'll put it on this one. Uh, go into the build mode, go up here, uh, click to add it to multiple screens, and I'll click on here, and then uh, I'll just click done. Now you'll see it's appeared here in exactly the same position. If you need to get rid of a hotspot, you just come up here and you can delete it from your project. Okay, so I'll come back out again. So that's the project that's been done. And if I come back out of here and press down the bottom, um, you can come up to the point where you're gonna share. So if I click on share, um, you can actually embed it somewhere. So if you click on embed, it has an embed code. So you can actually embed that on a site and it will just work and function. Um, you can email it to somebody. So you can come along and email it or email it to yourself. It'll also give you the URL. So again, that's where it exists. So if I press copy, if I go to a new window and I paste this in here, it'll load it up and here it is. So I can come along and click on here, but it says, you know, that's where that is. And then I can move on and it will just function as I've created it. So that's what someone would see if they had that link that is actually sharing that with people um, down the bottom. Um, it's got stuff to do with you can actually email it to yourself um, or send a text message you can click here and it's got all the screens in the project and also people can have um, comments or comment mode where they can add comments I've got the comments off here so that's how it would work also if you have the Envision app on your phone so you can get the Envision app um, and download that you can then view your um, projects on an actual device. Okay, we'll just look at another aspect. Um, this is on the share. Um, again, we've looked at this before where you can send it as an email, um, you can allow commenting. Um, also, you can put a password on your project if you want to uh, save that. Now, if we do more options, it gives you um, lots of other options that you might want to enable when you're sharing your prototype. Again, you can email it here. Um, you can do it with text message, although I've tried that and sometimes it's a bit hit and miss how it works. Again, you can embed it. And finally, this one, which is quite useful, you can download your project. So we click here, download, and what it will come up and say, you know, if your project's quite large, it might take some time. Also, sometimes their servers are sometimes down. So if you follow them on their Twitter channel, they will give you updates on, you know, the, the status of their servers. So if you're doing a project, you know, be mindful that leaving things to the last minute or issues to do with that might mean that some servers or downloads are not working. If I click on download, that will download the zip file. If I open that um, zip file up once it's come down here, it will expand it. And if we open that up, what you'll see in here, we've got HTML document, and then we've got all the assets that have been downloaded. So if I just open that, it will just work locally and so it's on here so that's a you know a good way of using your app uh, if you want to do things offline uh, and it'll just work the same way as if it worked remotely but this is, um, you would give up the whole folder now also useful for when you're using Envision um, say on Android apps here we are in the share so I would have got that through here where I'm um, with my screens and prototypes I've come up and clicked on share and I'm going to go for URL and then I've gone for more options now what happens here is if you make sure this is checked and I think by default it is checked um, and this is on the URL it says add home um, screen 
on uh, iOS and Android. It says it forces it. So what that does, it, it actually, when you have the address here and you look at it in the browser on say either an Android or an Apple device, what it will do is prompt you to save it to the home screen and it will save it as a sort of an app icon on your home screen and then when you click it from the home screen it will open up full screen rather than being within a browser window or a browser tab so as um, a default that will be set on set up and really useful um, because it can open up and look like a real app you can download the Envision app from the Apple App Store and put it on your Apple device. Sign in to your account. Once you opened up and signed in, your projects will be available to be viewed. And they will just have all the gestures that you set up and all the links and will have the same sort of functionality as you've seen in the preview within the browser. So really useful for just testing out very quickly your screens, putting hotspots on, sharing them with other people also working collaboratively.